Hello, we're back again. I'm just going to show you how you get your TV head end recordings into Plex. I'm running two separate Raspberry Pis, one with TV head end and one with Plex. And the thing we're going to do, we're going to map the drive of TV head end so it shows up on the uh, Raspberry Pi running Plex. Right, I'm just going to open up my cheat sheet. The first thing we're going to do is log into the Raspberry Pi running TV head end. And I'm going to be using a bit of software called Putty. I've already got a login saved, so I'm just going to load it. All you need to do is add in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi at the top there. I'm just going to change the setting so it zooms the text when you scale the window. I just log into my Raspberry Pi. Pi, and then the password. I just move the window and then I resize it. All right, that's done. First thing we're going to do is install Samba. So we're just going to use the uh, sudo apt-get install Samba. Just copy it. Right click to paste. And then enter on your keyboard. It doesn't take too long to install, so I'll just let it run. You're only talking a few seconds. Nearly done. And that's finished. The thing we're going to do now is edit the Samba config file. So just copy the text. Right click to paste it in. And then enter. And just use the arrow key on your keyboard to scroll down. All the way down to the bottom. Right, we need to copy this whole block of text. I'm using a standard install of TV head end. So the path is home HTS. I'll just show you in TV head end. I'll just load it up. I'll just go into configuration. And then recording. I just scroll down. And you've got recording system path. If you're using a, a, an external drive, copy the path you're using. But if you've got a standard setup, just copy that one or the one you're using. So I'll just minimize that. So you just change that path to whatever you need. Or just leave it as it is if you're using a, a standard setup. So I'm just going to copy it. Right click to paste it all in. Then I'm going to control X then Y to save on your keyboard, then enter. So that's done. I'm just going to uh, reboot the Raspberry Pi just to make sure everything's set up and working. So I'm just going to use sudo reboot. I'm just going to type it in. sudo reboot, then enter on your keyboard. Just 
Just click OK. I'm just going to close down uh, Putty. OK, OK again. Just let the uh, Raspberry Pi reboot. I'm just going to test to make sure the Samba share is working. So go into my PC, backspace, backspace, and then the IP address of the Raspberry Pi running TV head end. Just type it in the address bar. Click enter. So we've got TV head end. And there's my uh, TV recordings all listed. I'll just click on one to test to make sure it's working all right. So, so, that, we've so that we've got loads of... All right, that's working all right. Just close that down. Thing we're going to do now is log into the Raspberry Pi running Plex. So I'm just going to open up Putty again. Just use the IP address again. I've already got it saved, so I'm going to load Plex, load. I'm just going to change it so the uh, tech zooms up or resizes. Just move it over and then resize. Gonna log in as Pi, then your password. Right, thing we're gonna do next is make a new folder. This is where the drive of TV head end is mapped into the Raspberry Pi running Plex. So we're just going to copy this text, make directory. You can call the folder any name you want to, but if you do change the name, you need to change these as well. You need to change that part to the name, this part, wherever you see Plex TV, you need to change it to the name of the folder you're going to use. But to keep it easy, keep it the same way as I've got it. So I'm just going to copy, Right click to paste, enter. So we've got a new folder now on the Pi running Plex. Now we're going to edit the mount point. Let's copy this text, uh, text. Right click to paste and then enter again. Just scroll down to the bottom using the arrow key on your keyboard. The first one you see there is a USB drive I've got plugged into the Raspberry Pi. Right, now we're going to copy all this text. The thing you need to do is change this part to the IP address of the Raspberry Pi running TV head end. So this needs to be the IP address of TV head end. You just need to change that part. So just copy it once you've changed it, copy, right click to paste, it is all there, I'll just use the arrow, uh, arrow key on my keyboard to scroll to the left, yep it's all there, just contr uh, control X, Y for yes, then enter again to save it. Now I'm going to mount the drive, so uh, sudo mount, copy again, right click to paste, and then enter, that's going to mount the map drive, it will auto mount if you ever do a reboot, now we're going to check thing we're doing now is changing the directory we're going to go into the folder we just created earlier so if I click copy we're just changing directory 
and then enter again. We're going to check the files are mapped. And all you need to do, oh, I just uh, misspelled checked. I'll just change that. All you need to do is type in ls. And if we've done everything right, you should see the files which are on your Raspberry Pi running TV head end. So there's all my TV recordings. So we know now the map drive is working fine. So I'm just going to type uh, CD to move out of it. As I said, it will auto mount if you ever do a reboot of your Plex server. And I'm just going to reboot. Oh, can't spell today. Just do a sudo reboot. Enter. Click OK. And just close down a putty. So that's everything set up on both Raspberry Pis. I'm just going to show you a couple of settings I change in TV head end. Just go into configuration. Just go recording. Oh, first things first, make sure your user interface level is set to expert or you might, might not see any options. So go into recording or you might not see the options we need. Right, I change the format string. If I go back to my document, the first part shows you the TV channel. So it's like, say, BBC, BBC2, ITV. The second part is a program name, like Bargain Hunt. The third part is uh, the date. And the last part is so it makes a MKV file. So just copy it. and paste it into format string. There's one other option I use where it says down the bottom, use Windows compatible file names, tick the box and then click save on the left. Right, that's everything done. So that's both your, uh, both your pies set up and changed a few options in TV head end. The thing we're going to do now is log into Plex. Just let it load. I want to go up to the uh, top right to settings. Then just scroll down on the left to manage. Then you want libraries. And then add library. You must use other videos. You must use that one. So click on it. You can name it anything you want. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to call it TV head end, but you can call it anything you want to. I'm just going to click next. Now we're going to browse for media folder. So on the left, we've got Plex TV. And it should list any recordings you have. I'm just going to click add. And then add library. It's going to start scanning the folder now. I'll just go into home. Then TV head end. It's scanning the files now. I'll just let it run. It won't take too long. Nearly finished. 
Won't take a second now to finish. Thing I do is change the view to uh, list list view. So there's all your TV recordings, which you've made with TV head end. Now listed. I'll click on one to test to make sure everything's working. Tent, so that we've got loads and loads of tote bags to surprise Sarah with. Sarah was worried there wouldn't be much profit to be made from tent tote bags. So I've got the ground sheet, the right, image. That's all working. And there's all my files, all my recordings. I just go back into home. And they're in there recently added. One little tip, if you ever do turn off both your Raspberry Pis, make sure you turn on TV head end or the uh, Raspberry Pi running TV head end first and give it a minute before you turn on the Raspberry Pi running uh, Plex so it maps the drive properly. So that's all done. That's uh, your TV head, re uh, head end recordings mounted and uh or mapped should i say and then uh, added into plex so as always uh i hope this video's helped and uh goodbye